Drug induced liver injury. Introduction. In India, the true incidence of drug induced liver injury, DILI, is unknown, but it is likely to be higher than in Western countries. Dili, DILI is a relatively rare hepatic condition in response to the use of medications, illegal drugs, herbal products, or dietary supplements. It occurs in susceptible individuals through a combination of genetic and environmental risk factors believed to modify drug metabolism and or excretion, leading to a cascade of cellular events, including oxidative stress formation, apoptosis, necrosis, haptonization, immune response activation, and a failure to adapt. The resultant liver damage can present with an array of phenotypes that mimic almost every other liver disorder. It varies in severity from an asymptomatic elevation in liver tests to fulminant hepatic failure. Types of Dili Classification of Dili is based on clinical presentation, mechanism or histologic findings. Clinical presentation includes hepatocellular injury characterized by Elevation of serum transmenases greater than or equal to 2 to 5 times the upper limit of normal. Hyperbilirubinemia and abnormal synthetic function tests. Cholestatic injury characterized by elevation of alkaline phosphatase greater than or equal to 3 times the upper limit may have hyperbilirubinemia. May have abnormal synthetic function tests. Example, international normalized ratio to albumin ratio. Mixed injury characterized by both alkaline phosphatase and transmenases that are elevated in roughly equal proportion and or alanine aminotransferase to alkaline phosphatase ratio between 2 and 5. Mechanism-based classification which includes dose-dependent hepatotoxicity, acetaminophen-induced centrilobular necrosis, idiosyncratic hepatotoxicity, stimulation of immune response by biological agents independent of dose, akin to drug hypersensitivity or due to altered host genes involved in drug metabolism. History and symptoms. The hallmark of Dili is a latent period from the onset of drug use to the development of laboratory abnormalities and clinical manifestations. In most cases, patients with Dili are asymptomatic and the disease is detected only by laboratory abnormalities. Of those who are symptomatic of acute drug-induced liver injury, the most common symptoms are fever, general ill-feeling, nausea, vomiting, if more advanced, jaundice, right upper quadrant pain, dark urine, and acolic stools. Patients who develop cholestatic liver injury may present with itching. Additional symptoms of severe dili include clotting, defects and altered mental status due to hepatic encephalopathy which would be suggestive of acute liver failure. Differential diagnosis. Dili must be differentiated from other diseases that cause serum transmenases elevations and symptoms of acute liver injury. For instance, some medications, example minocycline, nitrofurantoin, cause autoimmune like Dili, which must be distinguished from autoimmune hepatitis using serum studies. In patients below the age of 40, it is important to rule out Wilson's disease, though rare, with serum ceruloplasmin. If tender hepatomegaly and ascites are present, a Doppler ultrasound should be obtained to assess for Bud-Chiari syndrome.